Y'all want to see what the, what's going on with me, man? I'm out here. Posting flyers throughout the city on different bus stops and things like that. Um, my mentor, um, he basically gave me the opportunity to start investing with him. You know, he's basically, long story short, he said, if you know, he has these houses, it's called rooming houses. It's a house that multiple people live in, kind of like up in the college, like a college dorm, but for like grown people. Most of people live in, you got your own room, you share bathrooms and uh, kitchen and washer dryer. And he need, it's hard to manage because those people pay weekly. He has a lot of stuff going on. So I'm out here posting flyers up and I got a little traction. I actually signed my first attendant today and our agreement is I get the uh, first my security deposit. I get first month security deposit. I mean, first week security deposit, which is like $130. It's like 100, it's actually supposed to be 125 per week, but uh, that means I had to go pick up the rent every week. If, if I did that, who wants to do that? So I'm charging them $130 a week, 104 a month to encourage people to pay monthly. So I had to go pick up the rent one time. And every time I pick up the rent, if it's $125, I get $25. So since I'm charging $130, I get an extra $30. $30 every time I go pick it up. And uh, this was going to be a lot on me. And honestly, I didn't even really want to do it. It didn't seem like this was up my alley. But my mentor said he needed help, so I wanted to help him out. And he said he's trying to build a team. So I might be able to uh, be a member of that team. And he's talking about including me. And he's talking about... Um, you know, he wants to get more room in houses and he wants to help, you know, help me do my investment thing. So that might help me buy a rooming house. And so I told him like, hey, I got some homeboys and we're looking here who can help me out. Like I couldn't do it all on myself because I work a full time job, but I got some homeboys who'd be willing to help me out. And he said, OK, that's cool. You be the point of contact. You run your team. So right now I'm out here posting these flyers and I decided to post them on like bus stops because I put them on a whole bunch of people's cars and didn't get much that traction. I started this, what, like Friday? I think I got them Thursday. So I started Friday. I got the first person to move in on Saturday or well, Sunday. They're not going to move in for two weeks, but so I got the security deposit and I got them to sign a lease this morning. I actually should have got, got them to sign a lease. I'll tell you what happened. So they came, she called me and said, okay, Mr. Hill, I need. I wanted to be at the house on the west. It's the West Baltimore one and East Baltimore. I wanted to be at the West Baltimore house at um, 9:30. Okay, okay. She said that on Friday, so she texts me Saturday morning like, "Good morning." Um, I wanted to make sure you're still on. I'm like, "Okay." I like that. She's very upfront. So I'm leaving out. It takes me. It's going to take me like 30 minutes to get there. So I leave out uh, like 45 minutes, 50 minutes early. So I leave out and I can't find the address. Like, in the rooming houses aren't as, as nice as part of town as uh, actual, like, uh, two, three, four bedroom actual houses, like, we rent out the whole house. So, I'm around here, and, he, and the boys, they out there doing what they do, if you know what I'm saying. And they like, uh, so I, you know, I'm new. They, they start shouting out whatever they, I forget what they said, but that's what whatever it is for new people. They like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm looking so lost. They like, what are you looking for? I'm like, I'm looking for... The 800 block, and they like they try and help me find it. And I'm like, what the hell? All right, I can't find it. So I'll go down there, like this 700, maybe 800 down there. So I walk down there, like 600. And mind you, it's like nine, it was supposed to meet at 8 30, it's like 9 15. So I'm walking down the 700 block, like it's no 700 block, it's 700 block, 600 block, it's no 800 block. So I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking, like, where is this place at? Like, and he like, they're like, man, maybe because sometimes like in Baltimore, the numbers are reset. Like Edmondson Avenue is Edmondson Avenue in the in the county and the end in the city. Like uh, some of the numbers is on both sides. So I'm like, OK, maybe I got to go all the way down there to find what I'm looking for. And then I'm looking and I'm like, I don't see it. So I had to call my mentor. I call him twice. The first time I call him, like, what, what's the house in there? And he's like, it's near a garage. I don't see any garage. I'm like, what is going on? So I swing back around there. Like, the GPS is telling me it should be right here. But there's no houses here. I'm like, what is going on? 
So I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Nobody can help me. Nobody can help me. I can't find anybody. Nobody can tell me where the 800 block is. I'm like, it's got to be here. So I call him. I'm like, what's the address for the house? And he's like, 1800. I'm like, oh. So mind you, it's like 935 at this point. I'm like, oh, you talking about the 1800 block. So I go there, meet her at the 1800 block. And she's like, oh, yeah, I like this room. The room is nice. And she wants the end room, room number five. I'm like, if you try moving in two weeks, uh, room number four might be available. And this is where I messed up at. She, she was like, oh, I had a security deposit right here. Uh, okay, I guess I could just meet you tomorrow. I'm going to be busy for the rest of the day. So I'm going, I'm going in my head. I'm like, okay, that's cool. And I forgot I had a receipt book in the car. So I could have took the security deposit right then and there because I didn't want to sign her up if I didn't have a lease. I could have took a security deposit there and made her sign the lease tomorrow. No way I would have had the money in hand and it would have been a less likely chance that, you know, she could have found someplace else or, you know, could have done anything could have happened between now and that. So now I got her locked up for she's going to pay 130 a week and um, 130 a week. So that's going to be interesting. A new four way. For, I don't know. I'm not going to say that a new adventure, a new uh, little tick. So 130 per week. And we're going to put it. We have a joint account. We're going to put that in the joint account and build it up. We're going to try and do tax liens and with some of the money that we're making. And we got so that should be that should be interesting. But it's also a way for me to help my mentor and stay in my mentors because you guys know I paid that fee to uh, hang out with them. So, like, I could stay in my mentor's, like, circle. I didn't think they would kick me off. I didn't do it. But he said he needed help. So, that's what I'm here to do. But, to be honest with y'all, I'm not rocking with it. I'm doing it, but it's not my cup of tea. I want a more passive investing. This is more, I'm in the grit, I'm in the grind type thing. Like, you grinding to make money, but you got to start somewhere. But I'm more, I want to travel the world. I couldn't travel the world and do this at the same time. So, it's what I'm doing for right now. Help my mentor out and um, I'll let y'all know how it changes as I start dealing with the people and stuff like that. So I just want to shoot this little video for y'all. Keep my one video a week going. And thank y'all. Got to keep posting these flyers out, man.